section and I stopped by the Faxon booth and they got something you guys got to see. Check this out. Tell me what you are. First introduce, introduce yourself. Hi guys, my name is Nathan. I'm the Director of Sales, Marketing and Operations at Faxon Firearms and I have in front of me our ARAC. ARAC is aptly named a hybrid of the AR and AK systems combining the best features of both into one self-contained long stroke gas piston upper receiver. We've got a couple of standout features that you guys are probably going to like. First and foremost here is ambidextrous ejection. That Rotate awesome. your bolt around 180 degrees and pick which side that you want your brass to come out of. So the second is a forward non-reciprocating charging handle. So you start talking about weapons that manipulation, so cool. you're always going to the exact same point to go find your charging handle and you're not using fine motor skills, you're using drones. I like the fact that it's forward of the optics too, not like you know, like a scar where it's right here. It's forward. That's you're the not best. Bashing your knuckles for crying out loud. Yeah, that is awesome. And one of the yeah. things that you can really see the difference between the two platforms is doing a press check on an AR. But you'd have to drop the weapon, find the charging handle, come back, release, hope it goes back into battery, just to make sure, take your hand off fire control and smack. Okay, this and the ejection window like this. You to push Put it up to your eyes, you do a picture pull it slightly to the rear. Use your non-dominant eye to see what's going on in the chamber, and then go back into battery. Now, is there a forward assist feature on that, or do you even need it? Don't even need it. So the yeah. whole idea behind the design is that everything is steel on steel, QPQ salt bath nitride, matching hardnesses, matching lubricity, etc. This thing wants to go into battery. Matter of fact, one of the tests that we do at the factory is what we call a tilt test, which is where with no recoil spraying, no bolt must go in and out of battery with 15 degrees of tilt. Oh, just wow. by itself. No problem. So the ARAC comes in multiple flavors. The 21 here is 556, 300 black, and 762 by 39. In this case, I have a short barrel rifle, a 12 and a half inch barrel, with a folding butt stock. And by being completely self-contained, you can operate this firearm with the stock closed. Nice. Woohoo! Rock and roll. That is very cool. Or deploy it. And you can SPR. Man, you guys, you guys really, I mean, you hit all the, the hot buttons. Uh, the different uh, ejection ports, the non recipient charging handle, the left-sided charging handle. There's really no competitor to what we do. Um, because, because of what we do, yes, there's guys that make a gun that, that, that has a folding stock, but they don't have a changing barrel system. There's guys that have a changing barrel system, but they don't have dual junction windows. So there's a lot of different things that we we brought into play here in order to make this a complete rifle that you're gonna you may get one or two features from each one of those, but you're never gonna get all those features in one gun. I'm impressed. I mean you guys like I said you hit all the hot buttons for me. Twenty one is hundred percent compatible with any AR fifteen lower receiver, trigger, magazine catch, button bolt release, etc. The ARAC thirty one is hundred percent compatible with any DPMS pattern lower receiver. Nice. You could get into your guys' product by just buying the upper. Correct. Yeah. Right. Wow. So if you live in a restricted state or you just have a bunch of lower receivers you've got lying around, mm -hmm. pick up the upper and complete the gun. Nice, nice. The other thing we're very happy to introduce here at the show is the ARAC 21's bigger brother. This is the ARAC 31, which is a 308. <laughs> is like awesome. the 21, it's quick change barrel system. You pop off the screws here on your lower forearm which are held captive using stainless steel hello coils. Thank you, can you. Pop your bolt out, sorry, pop your barrel out, put a new barrel in and you can change your caliber. We're going to have 308 available now. 6.5 Creedmoor will be second and we'll probably see 260 here as the third. Likewise, fully 
ambidextrous controls, ambidextrous ejection window. You have everything about this is ambi. It's designed to be completely southpaw friendly. Safety selector, magazine catch and release. And I don't have it here, but there will be a PDQ here on the right hand side of the receiver. Hey, I'm Jay Wilson. I'm going to give you a teardown on the effects of firearms ARAC 21. Let's see the insides, man. So the ARAC 21 is a built aluminum upper receiver. Fits on any standard mil spec AR 15 lower receiver. It's a long stroke gas piston system. Recoil is all completely self contained and forward, so no need for buffer, buffer tube, buffer spring. Bull carrier, something reminiscent of an AK bull carrier with something that looks like an AR firing uh, bolt. I was just going to say, that really does look like an AK. I mean, of all the piston yeah. ARs out there, this looks the closest to an AK. Yeah, it actually that it is nuts. really does. Yeah, that is wild. It rides on hardened steel rails inside the receiver that bolt in place there and there, so there's no steel on aluminum contact and wear. It's all steel on steel. Nice. We make three different caliber barrels for it. We do a 5.56, a 300 blackout, and a 7.62 by 3.9. In order to swap barrels, you just pull out that recoil spring, bolt carrier, six captive screws, lower handguard comes off, barrel slides out of keyways. It's keyed in place there, here, and up top. So along with an integral top Picatinny rail, when you put your barrel back in, your optics are still on. If you're swapping calibers, you might need to readjust slightly, but it'll still be within a couple of inches. All our barrels are gas adjustable, so 5.56 and 7.62 by 3.9 have three different gas settings plus a fully off position. 300 blackout has two settings plus a fully off position, so you can use it like a bolt gun if you want. You know, something I noticed too is I like, this is all nice and beefy, and this yeah. is this is beefy as well, so anything traveling in here is not going to, I mean, there's no way that can move. No. Can't even can't even not. bend, I don't think. Absolutely not. No, the, uh, the barrel is held at these two points, so this is, you know, this is all completely stable in there. Charging is all forward, spring returns, non-reciprocating, folds out of the way, ambidextrous if you want to charge from the other side. Wow. So you can move it to the other side as well. Yeah. You guys really hit some hot buttons there, big yeah. time. And actually, we're um, about to be releasing a fully ambivert, ambi version of the 21. So ejection ports on both sides. All you need to do is rotate the bolt around to eject nice. from the other side. Nice. There you go. That is impressive. Love it. Absolutely love it. Because I'm a fan of both. I'm, I like AKs and ARs. Yeah. It's just the ergonomics that kills me. Yeah. And you guys brilliant. literally, I keep saying it over and over again. Sorry, guys, if I keep saying it over and over again. But these guys really did hit a lot of things that guys are looking for. The charging handle, the ejection port, change the caliber, the ergonomics. That's just, that's just wild. Keep the control system on the lower the same. You know, I mean, yeah. if you're used to your AR-15 lower controls, you know, this, this has them all. So, you know, it's, it's a, you know, operating system that you're familiar with, you know, yeah. minus the charging handle. But really, that forward charging is, I mean. It's huge, man. Man, that's huge. It's hard to believe that anybody would choose <laughs> to charge from the rear, you know, yeah. with, well, before being an option. I've shot a lot of guns, and, you know, I like it when people do have the left sided, but it, sometimes it's way too close to the optic. You hit your hand on the optic, yeah. or the levers on the optic, you're, you're yanking on it. Yeah. Or, you know, it's just, if that's the right place where it should be, because you're, right. you're already up there. Right. That is just awesome, man. What was your guys' website, by the way? Uh, Factsandfirearms.com. Yeah, that, that's an easy one to remember, but check them out. If you guys are into AKs, ARs, and ergonomics, this is definitely a reference you guys got to see. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, thank you very much.